The purpose of this book is to give kids information so that they can understand what's happening to the oceans, so that they can make educated choices. I have noticed that this is a generation of uh, children with tremendous environmental awareness and tremendous concerns, and I think they're going to grow up to be great militant environmentalists. I'm very excited about them. Um, but they need information. They need to be well informed. I'm always happy to get invitations to go to schools and, and, and talk to kids because, you know, kids are the only way you're going to change the world and make the world better because adults are already set, <laughs> you know, so you have to talk to kids. What can we do to make sure that this stops and the world doesn't lose all its fish? Well, the, the first thing we could do is what's called sustainable fishing. That is, we have the capability to make pretty good estimates on how many fish of a certain species are in a certain area. You have to make sure that only a certain percentage of that population is taken by fishermen so that uh, that population can maintain itself. And you can't count eggs, which is a mistake that people used to make. Uh, um, because most eggs don't survive. You have to count what they call juveniles, young fish. How many young fish are being produced in a population? And make sure that that's higher than the number of fish that are taken. So the kids know that we are messing up the world that they are going to inherit. Um, and I don't think that you have to work very hard to convince them of that. I think they know that. Um, what they don't know is exactly what we're doing and exactly what the impact of it is going to be and exactly what they have to do to stop it. So now we're in this very, very tricky business of trying to reorder nature and get it to work again. It's, it's, it's very hard to do. We would have been much better off not messing with it in the first place. The entire life on the planet could start unraveling if we don't save about 30 species of fish that we eat. Uh, and kids are interested and, uh, and they, they want to know. And, and beyond that, for some curious reason, kids love fish. I don't know why, but they always love fish. And it's, it's wonderful to talk to kids and they, they, they ask good questions and uh, uh, they don't care if you sign their book and uh, um, they don't care what bestseller list you've been on. They just want to know things. Fishing is a great way of educating kids about nature. People don't take their kids fishing enough. Everybody should take their kids fishing, right? <laughs>